Oh no. Oh what oh my god. Oh <laughs> this ain't good. Oh! It's busted up out the back there. Phone's ringing. Hello? You call me? Yeah, yeah, all good. I'm at, I'm at the start of the track now, so I'll head down to the beach shortly. All right, see you soon. All right, see you, mate. Yeah, bye. In amongst all of that, let me talk you guys through that one. So I was trying to drive along and get like a really cool drone shot, which I was getting, and I wanted to film the dogs running in front of the car. I've had this in my head for the longest time. I wanted this perfect drone shot. I was getting some pretty cool footage, and you'll see the moment. I'm gonna play it again right now that I bogged down. And because Guthix, he always runs in front of the car and he always pulls up the brakes for the stupidest things, just to pull a nard in front of the car, but he always does it right in front of the tracks. So I always have to touch the brakes and he, he really throws me off when I'm driving along the beaches. So while I was driving along, I was worrying about him. Then there was an eagle or a hawk in the sky that was scoping out the drone. And it's also nesting season right now. We've just gone into spring. So I was a bit worried that that was gonna try and attack the drone too. So I had everything going on. And then, cause I was focused on that and not what I was doing, I ended up bogging down and sort of sliding down this bank and getting quite bogged. So I was there for about half an hour digging myself out before a group of young lads came along. And then I didn't really want to get the camera out through all of it cause it was actually quite full on sorting it all out. They might come back and watch this, so if they watch this, cheers lads. Uh, they've helped me out with some sat straps and a couple of extra max tracks and we got out in the end. And then just as I've done that and started driving, the mates that I'm meant to be camping with have just come down the beach and found me as well. And they pulled up and said, oh, we'd come to see if you were bogged or not. And uh, funnily enough, I was. So anyway, they've found me now. I'm back moving. That was probably about an hour, an hour and a half of messing around to start the trip off, but that's all gravy. Got CJ following along behind me now. So that's CJ and Ange. I kind of remember where we're camped. Oh, mate, my seatbelt thing. Right, we're up here. Beautiful, we're here now. I pulled up so I'll get the drone down. I'm gonna get set up camp, crack a beer, just recoup for a minute and then we'll get stuck into some afternoon activities. Ready when you are. Jeez, there's some ruts. Just 
out here wheeling right now. Going for a few bob laps before we get stuck in the dinner and whatnot. It's had the drone up in the sky. It's good fun. What a cool little wash out. Elmira Gothic Samir. Ready? Let's oh. get a family photo. Elmira, come here. Oh, come here, right here. Right here, sit down. Oh, sit. All right. G'day, guys. So. It's been an eventful start to the day, or it had been an eventful start, coming down the track, down the beach, getting bogged there. That caused a bit of strife, a bit of drama to begin with, but um, I've been here for a few hours now. I pulled up, so the boys that are here, I wasn't sure how many people would be here, but we've got Angelo and CJ, both good lads that I know quite well. So right now, it is about 4 p.m., maybe just gone past. And I'm just going for a quick run with the dogs, giving them a bit, a bit more of a stretch, even though they got free roam. We've just been chilling out, eating some food, having a few beers, having a laugh. And what we're gonna go do now, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start rigging up so I can go for an afternoon fish. So Angelo has said that he'll take care of dinner over the next couple of nights, because he's keen to cook on his Oz pig. Uh, so I will be filming that, but I still wanna catch some fish as well, especially to see what we can catch and see if we can flame grills and stuff because I went to Bunnings and bought like a little fish grill you can turn the fish over on there so we'll go see if we can catch some reasonable sized fish that are sort of going to fit inside of that grill I'm keen to give that a crack well let's go come on Oh yeah. Power windows, mate, in a cruiser. No, on a serious note, when I get down there, do you want to let the dogs out like after like 30 seconds and they'll run, yeah. they'll run down to me? Yeah. Just go, because otherwise I'll chase the cruiser. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't go. That's off, mate. Not quite off all the way. Jeez, I've got to say, this is my first time driving the 79. Probably a good one to start with, to be honest. It's um, worth a pretty penny, I think, but she's not bad, this thing. Not bad at all. In fact, I might have to give it a bit of noise. Woohoo! Oh. All right, so I think here is as good as anywhere. So what I'm gonna do now is I've just borrowed CJ's cruiser to get down to the beach because both mine and Angelo's utes are all set up for camp. So I've loaded up my stuff on the back of the tray of this one, all my fishing gear, and we've probably got about an hour left of sunlight, maybe 45 minutes before it hits the horizon. So I'm gonna get a line in the water in a minute. And I'm gonna be pretty honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with this cruiser. It felt a little bit nicer than driving the D-Max around. Get a load of that. Here comes the boys now. Let's see if I can actually get a fish here. Right on sunset. I've got the most picturesque sky behind me right now. I've had about three casts. I haven't caught a single fish yet. So I'm hoping now that the sun's about to go over the horizon something out there will fire up and grab it. A herring or a tailor would be nice for what I've got in mind. Catch one. 
No. Guff fixes because he can bit the drone while it was flying. He's pissing out. Probably see this. Oh. Pierce. Oh, I guess so. I can't see the cut. It'd be a clean cut. I was flying at hell low, stirring him up. Thought it'd be hell funny. It was hell funny, but he actually managed to get it. And the blade just went. I mean, how's your nose, boy? Sit. How's that nose of yours? Is it all right? I'm sorry about that, all right? Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Love you. You see the truth behind the veil. And you know that they're just looking for attention. Yeah, bruh. Uh, chili or barbecue. Yeah, that'll do. Well, here we go. Oi, come here. Guthix, Elmira. What's going on? Morning. Guthix, watch out. Guys, so I've had a real lazy and easy morning this morning. I've just been playing guitar for a little bit there, kicking back with the boys, eating some food. We had a nice big breakfast. It's been a good start to the day, but we've got these beautiful blue skies around, as you can see, all through here. So we really couldn't have more perfect weather than what we've got today. So it's just gone lunchtime again. We've sorted everything out. And we're going to get busy for the next few hours and crack back into some stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the drone up in the sky and I'm going to walk down to the water with the dogs, meet the boys down there. They've got the land cruiser with all the fishing gear. We're going to get back in the water. We've got an offshore wind today, which makes it a heap nicer as well for the fishing. So hopefully I can go flick a bait out to a reasonable distance, get it out there and then see if we can get onto some fish because I really want to cook some up today. And it's just the perfect day to be out there getting amongst it. Boys are living large. Right, I know there's definitely fish out there, so it's not coming back in without one. Here. Oh, I don't know actually. Here, Elmira, come here. Here you go. Right, I've just burlied the water up with a heap of whiting frames. They're probably just going to wash up. But hopefully, it gets them a bit stirred up. What have I got? Got the first fish of the weekend on a prawn, prawn that I caught myself. It's a silver brim, very small silver brim. First fish of the weekend. How big can we make him look? It's a silver brim, Taiwan, that's going back now. If there's silver brim out there, that's a good sign because there are 
fish that's sort of found with good other surfish, so we'll get back out. Another Tarwan, that's not good. That's Tarwan number three. For the first keeper of the trip. That's actually not a bad sand whiting from the beach. Ah, 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 ah. Ciao. Anyway, so we'll get back out. I've got the little flick rod here. We'll get back out. Try to get a feed of these guys. So silver brim, Tarwan again. I've caught about five of these so far, all around this same sort of 15 centimetre size. This is going to get him right back. So he survives. Come here, Guthix, Elmira, come here. So I'm thinking that right now, because it's sort of that in-between period in the early afternoon, that the fish have gone off the bite. I was getting a heap of tarwan before, I'm not even getting any of them now, so I'm going to keep fishing because the other boys have taken off and haven't worked that out either. I'm here on my own, so they're off driving around checking out some sites, so I'm just fishing on the beach. I'm going to keep the rods in the water, they'll probably be back in like another hour I imagine. I'll stay here till sundown, see what we get and then we'll go start this big gross cook up that Angelo's got on the go. Oh, I think I'm on for a herring here, that actually gets me excited. Well, it felt like it was fighting more because it would have been. If it's a herring, let's go. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so that fish right there is actually the number one fish that I wanted to target in this session. That's a herring, Australian herring. These things taste great, so I want to be able to fry these up for the boys later. So it's good that I just got the first one. We're starting to get into that afternoon bite now. I'm going to get some squid back here. Nice catch. We'll see if we can get a few more of these guys to go with dinner and not for nothing. So. Oh, I'm getting spooled here. That ain't good. Oh no, I'm getting absolutely spooled. Oh, I'm getting actually spooled. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh. This ain't good. Oh, it's busted up out the back there. I wonder if that's a ray or a shark. Oh, I hope it doesn't. I wonder what that is. Whatever I've got on just breached out of the water out the back. <laughs> so I actually want to kind of want to land it. It's got to be a ray. It's got to be a ray. Whatever I've got. Oh, I'm only hooked on small long shank hooks. <laughs> but I haven't been having much luck with the fishing all day. Oh, oh there you go, busted off. I think it was a ray and its uh, wing came out of the water out there because sometimes they like to do that. They'll come up high, flick their wings out of the water, come back down. It's either that or a shark, that was pretty cool, a bit of fun. And I got my line back as well, which is nice. All right, we're just going for a quick walk back up to camp now, because I didn't realize, but the boys have just come back around in the ute. And I quickly took a look at myself in the uh, side door mirror. And what I've realized is I've been standing in the sun way too long and I've actually burnt my face. So I'm gonna go back up to camp, it's like a couple hundred meters away, grab some zinc, grab my fishing jacket as well that I always wear. Head back down the water as it cools off, the jacket can go on, zinc up my face, make sure I'm not going to get any more burnt than I already am, and then I'm going to see what fish we can catch on the afternoon bite time. CJ's cruiser here. All right, give her a bit of noise out of here, mate. <laughs> So on the dinner menu tonight, because I might not come through with the goods for the fish, Angelo's doing up a special one for us. What is it? Lamb roast for the fire. All right. So that lamb roast right there is going to be going on the Oz pig. It's got like a little spit rotisserie there for it. So we're going to cook that up later. Hopefully get some fish as well to do up on the little fryer. All right. So I'm not having nearly as much hope on the fishing today as I would have liked to, but. It's a beautiful day today. It couldn't be any better than what it is. And we've got a pristine sunset 
going on right now in the background. So I've actually got the drone above us right now taking some footage all of this. I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to chuck a time lapse on, I'm going to get a couple new fresh baits out right on that sunset there and hopefully the fish fire as they do and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get one. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up that little beach fishing session there. If we're going to talk about how I went catching fish, that was probably one of the worst fishing sessions I've ever had in that element. But as far as uh, picturesque waters, beaches, sunsets, all that sort of thing goes, that was pretty up there. You have a look around. It feels so good to finally have this sort of weather again because we haven't had it in months around here. While I was flying my drone around before, and getting all the drone shots from around here. What I didn't realize is Guthix had actually been trying it for hours. He was trying to sneak off back to camp because he knows where that's where all the food's getting cooked up. And he's actually managed to sneak away from me while I was occupied flying the drone and teasing Elmira. So Guthix is back up at camp. That means I've got to get back up there too. I'm just going to do a couple of trips with the gear, dragging it back up there. And then we'll go up there. Guthix is a smart man. He knows what's on the cook. So we'll go up there and we'll have a suss out as well and see how Angelo's going with this roast. Tell everyone to say, hey, my dad's a lousy beach fisherman. Hey? Annie, your dad's a lousy beach fisherman. All right, let's go get up out of here. Oi, you've been a naughty boy, haven't you? You've been a naughty boy. Haven't you? You snuck off, mate. Bro, you wouldn't believe what happened, eh? Hey? I had the fire cranked and I fell asleep, bro. <laughs> I had to just put it on and it's a bit hot for it. The flame's hitting it a bit. Oh no, running into trouble, see? G-Man's sussing out the food, like I said he would be. Ange passed out. Roast is going. All right, we've just had Angelo hard at work for the last few hours while I've been down on the beach fishing. He's cooked up a mean dinner for tonight. Here's what he's got. He sent us up a lamb roast. We got this big broth your deal over here. What even is this? Veggies, a bit of pork sausage, and some lamb shanks. Something tasty. Alright guys, welcome to the third and final day of this episode. Now, I've got to be honest here, over the last couple of days I haven't done half as much filming as what I probably normally would do and what I should have done. But the reason being is that when I'm out camping with friends, I don't often get to camp with friends. I prefer to just make that about camping and having a good time rather than trying to shoot videos because I can do so much of that filming and stuff when I'm on my own and it takes up my own time. Uh, and it's my own sort of little distraction, but when I'm with other people, I have a lot more fun just hanging out with them, doing things that I can't normally do on my own. So that's what I've been up to for the last couple of days. In amongst, you know, we've had the cook-ups and we've had the odd bit of beach fishing there where I haven't caught much and we've been getting around on the four drives and stuff. So it's actually been really, really fun. I've had a great weekend. We've still got blue skies behind us now. It's uh, Monday, just gone lunchtime, so 1 p.m and I'm still on the beach. The other boys left this morning, but I've decided to hang out here with my dogs for an extra half a day sort of thing and just enjoy being out here. So that's what we've been doing. Like literally probably a couple of hours ago, I spent half an hour just laying on the sand, sunbaking with the dogs with my hat over my head, cuddled up to them. And yeah, it's just been a nice sort of way to end the weekend and start the new week. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play a song 
This song I actually don't know very well, so I'm gonna play this one with the music in front of me on my phone. And then I'm gonna bring in the footage from this morning. So this morning I actually had, when I was laying with the dogs and we were sleeping, uh, I woke up and there was an emu in front of us, only like just in front of camp, which was pretty random on the beach there. So I decided to film that emu with the drone. I'm gonna play myself out of this episode. I've got a new motor going on the boat this week. I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be really good to amp things up more with my fishing and the boating side of things. Next video, I'll show you guys that motor. I'll do a walk around of the dory. We'll get back out on the water. And as the summer months come back in and the demersal band gets over, so we've got the cray fishing and then we'll rip back into the fishing, north and south. It's all gonna be happening. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. So I'll leave it there for now. I'll get the guitar going. Thanks heaps for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy till then.